Hello friends and welcome, welcome, welcome. As you're coming on, please say hello. Let me know where you're from. If you're watching me live or you're watching me on replay, I love to hear from everyone. Uh, my name is Alicia and I am the ambassador for the Stencil Smith. And today we are going to be stenciling a tote. And it's gonna be a reading tote, but, uh, the stencil smith has many many different options so if you're not into reading there are many other options to stencil a tote um, I am an avid reader I love love reading um, please like I said as you're hopping on say hello when April hops on say hello to her she's the owner of the stencil smith um, and happy Valentine's Day I almost forgot, today's Valentine's Day. It'll be the last day I'll be putting away my sign. That's I always find it sad when I have to switch over for holidays. Um, although I'm ready for winter to be over. Hello, April, how are you? Hi, Judy, my friend, I hope you're feeling better. Um, as you're hopping on, if you wouldn't mind doing this, sprinkling me out there. Hi, Janice, how are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Um, sprinkling me out there that certainly helps me happy valentine's april and today every month i do a giveaway so today's the day i'm going to be doing a giveaway um all you have to do and i'll repeat this a couple times during the live because people come and they go but is to sprinkle me and comment in the comments that you've sprinkled me and the giveaway today in honor of Valentine's Day, even though Valentine's crafting is over, these are things you could use all year round. This is one of my favorites. I'm yours, no refunds. I love that one. That does not have to be a Valentine's one. In Ohio, we also have Sweetest Day. Let me get my device up here and running. I forgot about that, getting my secondary device. I'm using a new... Um, stand today so it's um let's see i'm gonna swipe the comments away bring them up there there we go so you're a little further away i'm not sure i'm gonna like it i've got this new stand and you're gonna have to bear with me happy valentine's day pamela oh thank you janice so anyhow if you sprinkle me today this is one of them i'm gonna give two away today and this is the other one it's just easier to see it on a black background hello love that could be used for many different things. Weddings in particular, I could think of. Maybe a uh, new baby's coming, hello love. Um, baby showers, anything like that. Hi Judy, hi Debbie, hi Tammy. So anyhow, thank you so much. I'm glad you're feeling better, Judy. So these two, so it'll be a two for today. We're gonna give away two stencils. All you have to do is sprinkle me out there and then in the comments, tell me you sprinkled me and Hi, Becca, how are you? And if you, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow evening, I'll come on probably around seven and I'll do a drawing of everybody. Hi, Mary Jo, how are you? Um, I'll do a drawing of everyone who sprinkled me out there and there'll be one winner for the two stencils. So again, today we're gonna be doing a tote. So this is the tote that I ordered. I ordered it off of Amazon. I did not iron it, I should have. Um, and I did not wash it ahead of time. I'm going to be honest with you. I should have washed it. I should have ironed it. I didn't. I do like to wash all my things and iron them before I stencil them. Um, oh, I'm so, yeah, I'm so glad, Judy. Hi, Deborah. Thank you. Um, yeah, I feel really weirdly far away because of, let me move you a little closer. That's a horrible view. Sorry. <laughs> Got all my 57 years of wrinkles. So anyhow, so this lovely tote I got it on Amazon. After the live, you can go above in the comments of the video, the description. There is a link to this tote. I got this on Amazon, and you hate ironing? I do too. I do. I do uh, so it's a really nice tote. Um, it seems pretty sturdy, but I'm going to be making a book stencil, book bag, I guess, to carry. I love to read. I don't know if you love to read, and even if you're not readers, this could be a great gift for the readers in your life at Christmas, birthdays. Thank you, Tammy. Um, 
it could be a great teacher's gift. The end of the year is coming faster than we know it. I mean, it's already mid-February, so it would be a wonderful teacher's gift as well, um, I think, anyhow. So the two stencils I'm using today, they're number, thank you, Becca, 3732, and uh, these are both in medium. My books are calling, and number 8731, and it's the read, return, repeat. But this is, no, I got it backwards. Okay, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. You love to read and you hate ironing. Me too. I did not add textile medium to my towels. Um, if I would have made a bigger uh, image on it, like a more solid, big image, I probably would have added the textile medium because it is a little stiffer if you don't, but because it was so thin, after I washed them, you can't even tell. Um, and I did heat set them, Mary Jo. So this is the one, got it upside down again. This is number one we're gonna be doing. And this is number two. And these are both on medium. The links are in the description. I think I forgot to make it so one of them would pop up. But I love these. So if you still go to the library and you tote your books back and forth. Now, I still take my grandsons to the library. They have a lot of fun, especially the seven-year-old. He has a ball going to the library. And we take our bag and we're close enough we can walk. So we walk up to the library. So this would be a perfect uh, bag for that. So like I said, even if you don't read, it's, a great, it's great for gifts for any of the readers in your life, and it would be great teacher's gifts. And if you didn't see, I also put a link, so I put a link for both of these stencils. They're on sale today and tomorrow for 20% off, um, and then an extra 15% with my code sign shack, which is right here, S-I-G-N-S-H-A-C-K. So that's uh, 20, 35% you'll be saving on both of these stencils. And then there's some beautiful, beautiful new releases um, that have been released. They're really cute. There's um, one that sticks in my head is Reader's Gonna Read, which when I think about it, I think of that song by Taylor Swift, like haters gonna hate, 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 and you know, Reader's Gonna Read, Read, um, all that stuff. Yeah, they are sweet, sweet stencils. So there's a lot of new release book ones too. Some minis, all kinds, every something for everyone. So I guess I'll get started. And again, I'm gonna give you these numbers if you wanna write them down. They're 3732 and 8731. And they're both in medium are the ones I'm using. And the, st the stencils, the links are in the description above and the tote is in the description above, and there's also a link to the new book stencils. So I'm gonna angle you down and hope that this new camera works good. Okay. It's not a new camera, I'm sorry, it's a new stand. So um, it's what all the cool kids are using, I understand. So I'm gonna start with the first one. My book is calling, and I must go. I don't know if any of you are like me. I read a lot. I read probably two books a week, and I'm really guilty for going to bed, and I read and read and read, and next thing I know, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and um, I'm like, what did I do? So anytime you're stenciling anything that's fabric, you want to put cardboard between it or something between it, you know, so because you don't want it to seep through to the other side because your paint will. And you can use fabric medium or textile medium. You can use fabric paint. I am not. I'm just using Fusion Mineral, what you have, what I have. Okay. And I'm going to place my stencil on the bag nicely and I'm going to center it. I'm just eyeballing this. It's easier to eyeball and center things when you're standing directly above it. And hopefully I've got all my stuff here. I'm really notorious for losing things. Um, I just had them and I don't know where they went. Like I was eating an apple today, right before the live. 
and I couldn't remember where I left it. And I was thinking of what I always told my son. Every time he lost something, he'd be, Mom, where is it? And I'd tell him, well, it's the last place you had it, Josh. He did not think that was so funny, though. And that made me think of him today when I couldn't find my apple. And I do that more and more the older I get. <laughs> I don't know, does it seem, girls, does it seem like you're doing a whole bunch of things? Hi, Rhonda, how are you? Rhonda's my fellow Buckeye. And I'm sure she's having, hopefully, nice weather. We're having beautiful weather here in Ohio. Yeah, it always seems like a good idea to stay up late and read, April says, until the next morning. So I'm going to be using coal infusion mineral paint. You can use any paint you want. You do not have to use fusion mineral. Um, acrylic, water-based, is what I recommend, though. I, I don't even, I guess they make oils, but that's for different things. And I'm just going to squirt it on my plate here. You probably shouldn't do like I just did and squirt it over your tote. That's never a good idea. And I'm going to grab one of my brushes. This is a 5 8 brush, Dynasty brush that I got from the Brush Guys. You fall asleep and your Kindle. <laughs> my dad is always, let me tell you, he's got three Kindles. And he reads so much that he runs the battery down. I got paint on my brush and I'm offloading, key to stenciling. And I'll go in there and he'll be asleep, which is quite often he just falls asleep, even though he says he never sleeps. He's always asleep when I go in there. His Kindle's just on the floor or wherever. I'm so glad I haven't stepped on it yet. So yes, if you're new to stenciling, get paint on your brush and offload it. I use shop towels, you can use paper towels, you can use your plate and offload. I just find shop towels last um, quite a long time. And um, this is like a canvas kind of bag. I stenciled a t-shirt today. Now I've never stenciled a t-shirt. That was the absolute first time. Let me tell you, that is a learning curve. I did end up using a sponge on it. T-shirt's a whole different ball game, girls. How many of you have uh, stenciled on t-shirts? Rhonda has nice weather. We have beautiful, beautiful weather. Becca says too much on the brain. I have way too much on my brain. It's going a million miles a minute. My husband's always like, would you slow down? Because not only am I forgetful, but I run into things a lot too. So <laughs> Sometimes I don't even remember. You've done a sweatshirt. I think a sweatshirt would be a little easier. I'm going to try that next. Oh, thanks, Becca. That's so sweet. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you stencil, like Becca has a page, um, Be Painting with Becca, I think is what it's called. Um, if she sprinkles me personally and then she sprinkles me with her business page, I will enter her two different times for two different things. So I'm just swirling this in here. But anyhow, T-shirt's a whole different ball game. I thought. I was like, holy cow. I'm a swirler, but I found with a t-shirt, I was doing a lot of pouncing. I even got a makeup sponge and used that. And that's what I did, April. <laughs> I sponged and it worked way better than my brush. I started with a brush. You can't swirl on a t-shirt at all because it's so stretchy. It goes everywhere. So I'll show you it. I mean, it's it's not great for my first attempt, I don't guess, but it's not anything that I would ever uh, sell to anybody, but I'll give it to my husband to wear. It's for him for St. Patty's Day. As he's got a lot of Irish, well, everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, that's what they say, but he has a lot of Irish in him. His uh, great-grandparents, both of them, were straight from Ireland. I sponged April. It wasn't pretty, but I sponged. <laughs> so I, again, I'm just getting some paint on the brush, offloading and swirling in it. And now this book, the bridges are a little finer. So sometimes those kind of bridges do tend to move. So make sure if you're swirling in here, you're kind of holding them down just so they don't bounce back and forth. That tends to happen with uh, thinner bridges sometimes, they're, if they're thinner and longer. They're not super thin, 
but they are thinner and they're longer and they will move on you if you're not careful. How do I know? Because I've done it a bunch of times. If you paint long enough and you know stencil long enough, you've pretty much done every everything you can to mess something up, you've done. And if you haven't, I'd like to meet you. Oh, hi, Teresa. How are you? I'm so glad that you could uh, join us. You have a lot of Irish, too. Yes, I found out from April that her husband, Pete, plays the bagpipes. Because I posted a uh, reel the other day with some Irish music. Yeah, it takes a while. I found that with the sponging that it took a little bit longer. I'm just going to give this a quick little dry here with my heat gun. If you're doing it over your stencils, which I usually don't like to do, just make sure you're holding it away from your stencil and move it so it doesn't, because uh, it can, if you hold it long enough and it gets hot enough, you can uh, do some damage to your stencil. I have not done that but I know other girls have told me that they have. So does anybody have plans for tonight, for Valentine's Day? We don't have any. I had forgot it was Valentine's Day until April said, do you realize you're doing a live on Valentine's Day? I had no clue. That what, that's, I guess that's what happens when you've been married for like almost 40 years. McMahon, oh, that's your, is that your maiden name, Rhonda? Yeah, my um, husband's, his family's name was Duffy. Duffy and um, Ford. I'm trying to think, I don't, they weren't from, I wanna say, I think they were from County Mayo is where they came. His, his great grandpa came over from Ireland and he uh, was, I think he was nine years old if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you picked up a pizza. That sounds good. I love pizza. So, McMahon, yeah, that sounds very Irish. But his grandpa, his great-grandfather, I want to say he came over about nine. And I don't know if it was at nine or 11. I could be wrong, but they were in Pennsylvania at the time. He came and lived with his two school teacher sisters, I don't know if his parents stayed behind. I never did find out that part of the story, but he went to work in the mines. I know it was at least at 11, but for some reason, I think it was nine. It was crazy, um, just insane, the age that he went to work in the coal mines in Pennsylvania. Isn't that horrific, friends? McCabe over there. So we've got a McCabe and a McMahon. Any other... You're celebr oh, you got married on Valentine's Day, Gerilyn. I hope I'm saying that right. Happy anniversary. That's awesome. My anniversary is uh, February 23rd. And I think we're going to be married. Oh, this is horrible. It's almost 40 years. I want to say 37. It'll be this February, I think. Jeff's much better than that at me. But um, it seems a lifetime ago. I don't know if you still like, I can remember when you're young and, you know, Valentine's Day is so, I mean, not that it's, you know, when you get older, I don't know, like even Christmas, I love Christmas, but it's not the same as when you're a young kid and you believe in Santa or when your kids are little and um, all that stuff. You know, I have my grandkids, so that's a whole different ball game that makes it fun again. And it's really fun with the three-year-old. Um, everything has a season, but it's funny how things change. We don't celebrate Valentine's Day like we did when we were first married or, you know, even dating. Oh, a heart-shaped pizza. You know, there's a pizza shop around here that's doing that. I thought about that, too. 
you're 37 years. Yeah, it seems it it seems like yesterday in some ways, and then in some ways it seems like wow, it was a lifetime ago. Um, so did you get married, Mary Joe, in 1985? If you did, I did my math correct while I'm stenciling and talking. That's when we got married in 1985. Long, long time ago. And I know I see a meme. Oh, there's one meme that goes around like the 1990s. I don't know if anybody's seen this. Like the 1990s were, are as far away as when that, you know, you were, I forget something about like, as far from you as the, I forget how it goes now. So I'm going to quit. I don't know. Something about the 1940s. I don't, it was horrifying when I thought about the way time goes. Oh, that's great, Teresa. I'm glad. Teresa has a beautiful, beautiful, um, her and her husband, I think her husband's retired now. I know Teresa is. And um, she's one of my husband's high school friends. They graduated school together. And she has a beautiful, beautiful home right on Lake Erie. And... Um, Oh, the picture she puts up of the changing season. It even likes, even, you know, the winter pictures are beautiful in their own way. And I don't really like winter. But boy, we've had a good winter so far. It was a high of 53 degrees here today. Sunny, just absolutely beautiful. We're supposed to be in the 60s tomorrow. You're welcome, Teresa. Yeah, they're both retired. My husband's retired now, too. He really likes it. People are always trying to get him to come back to work, and he's like, I'm happy. He likes just doing what he wants to do, being on his time, he calls it. And he helps out an awful lot with my lives. Steaks on the grill tonight. Yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be really, really nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to do co two coats here, and I'm going to pull this one off. Oh, I really like that. All right. Okay, that's just fuzzies. What do you think, girls? Oh, Donna, you're in Arizona. You're supposed to have nice weather. The clouds are moving in. So that's really cute, I think. What a nice gift that would be for a teacher, for a reader, um, anybody like that. So I am going to, real quick before we flip on the other side, I like to just touch, oh, thank you so much. I bet you're busy today. It's Valentine's Day. And Marita Sweets, she is a childhood friend that I, she grew up um, a couple doors down from me. She has a bakery now. Thank you, Audrey. Oh, I'm sorry. How do you pronounce it, Jer? See, I'm really bad. My son gets so mad at me. You're in a pretty good snowstorm. So I'm going to just show you how to stencil a couple of the links. You're in a snowstorm. Wow. Yeah, we're beautiful here. So I like to close the bridges. And I'm just going to show you what I do. In case there's somebody new there, this is a rigger brush that I've gotten off of Amazon and Arteza. Uh, small round works really good too. But what I do is I get just a little bit of paint on my brush and I offload it just like I would. I mean, I don't swirl it down. I better put this in a bag or it's going to, that's another thing, girls. If you're stenciling, if you put your brush in a bag, it won't dry out. If you just leave it lay there like I was just doing, it'll be stiff as a board. And if that does happen, you just, um, Awesome works really good. And if you spray Awesome on your brushes, it'll take it all out. So I just go between the bridges a little bit. And I'm just going to show you like maybe a row. And you can see the difference. And it just makes it look less stenciled. You don't have to do this. This is something I've started doing probably in the last four or five months. 
um, with April's encouragement. I never did it before, and I think it looks much nicer. When I first started, I wasn't very good at it, but the more I do it, like anything, the better I get. And it's scary sometimes to do stuff on fabric because it's not like wood or even canvas where you can sand it off or wipe it off with a, with a wet wipe. With fabric, you're pretty much, you better be doing another design somehow. Like, I guess like if you got that tattoo and then you get older and you're like, wow, that was silly, which I don't have any tattoos, but you gotta cover it up. I know my nephew, he had a tattoo. What was it? I can't remember what it was. It was something silly. Um, it was on his leg, like on his calf. And so instead of getting it removed, he just got a big like black dot over it. So they just covered it with this big black dot and it covered it up. I can't remember. I, I want to say it was Yosemite Sam or something like that. I think that might've been what it was. He got it when he was in the Navy. And so I just connect the bridges like that. I get the paint on my brush, offload it just a bit, and just lightly go over it. And it just looks so much better. So see on must go, I connected them all. And then if you look at the O's in book, they're not connected. So see the difference on that, I think it looks much more finished. And you don't have to do that. That's just something I like to do. And I like to demonstrate a little bit of it every time. Um, so I'm not gonna do the rest on this side, but it is nice that you can see the difference between, between the O's and that really shows you the difference. Thank you, April. Oh, I did pronounce it, okay. My son's kind of like, oh, you don't, yeah, the smell is really bad on, on awesome. You're doing, oh, I'm so glad. So we're going to do the other side. I did pronounce Geraldine's name correct. Good. Yes, it, it makes it look smooth and finished. Oh, you're trying, Judy, she's always stenciling. Judy and Becca. Donna, I'm so impressed. I see Donna is one of my stenciling friends, and uh, she's in Arizona. I've met so many friends through stenciling, and she stencils so much, I just can't believe it. Like, it just blows me away. So this is the second side, so I'm going to make a double-sided one, and I think double-sided is better. I've even been doing my, um, we did the farmhouse towels a couple weeks ago. I've even been doing um, double-sided designs on that because you can flip it over depending what you feel like. If I was gonna sell them, would I do that? I don't know. But for myself, I like doing them double-sided because I might feel one way one day, like oh for cluck's sake, and then I might feel another way another day. Okay, see, I should have ironed that because it's not laying super flat, so I'm going to have to be careful with that. So I'm going to get my brush, and this is Library Books, Read, Return, Repeat. And if you're joining late, I know Deb, I think, just joined. If you wouldn't mind doing this, I would really appreciate it. I appreciate it every live, but this live, there is a giveaway for two stencils. You're now the proud owner of a chicken shirt. <laughs> I love it. I love those chickens. Those chickens are so cute. Um, so yeah, if you wouldn't mind doing this, these are the two stencils that I'm giving away this month and I'll do the drawing tomorrow, but you have to say sprinkled in the comments. Well, you have to sprinkle me and then put sprinkled in the comments. So these will be uh, the two. And like I said, you do not have, these don't have to be used just for Valentine's Day. Like this one, I didn't get a chance to get it done before the live, but I'm doing a simple like black and white one. And I'm putting this right on my husband's nightstand. That one right there, I'm yours no refunds. And then Hello Love could be used for many different things. Okay, so back to the stenciling. I know I talk a lot. I never know if it's too much or not enough. 
Um, but I'm standing up here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start swirling and I'm holding this down, like between my fingers, kind of where I'm swirling. And that's a good idea too sometimes, especially something like that, like there's a bigger piece there connected by the bridges. And these are really sturdy. Um, I clean mine with Awesome. I know someone uh, just said, I can't remember who, and I apologize, that they're using Dawn down, down Power Wash. Um, and there's other things you can use to clean them. I know some people use Magic Erasers. Um, oh, you're waiting on towels. Yeah, I love the chicken ones, Rhonda. They're so cute. And I think Rhonda does craft fairs, so I think they'd be a really good seller at craft fairs. I think they'd be a good seller in a booth too, I really do. I really, really do. I haven't done either between my uh, part-time job that somehow it was just a fall job which has turned into a, I work at an apple orchard in the fall and I ended up staying this year um, into the winter for the first time. I usually, around Christmas, I call it quits and go home until the following, like August or September. But um, this year, I'm still working, so between that and doing the lives and then making, I do a lot of uh, custom orders for uh, customers and that, I'm pretty busy. And then the grandkids. When the grandkids are here, I like to do nothing but just spend time with them. Whatever they want to do, we do. We have a lot of fun. Grandkids are the best. They say, I don't know if April has a stencil for it, but I've uh, often seen where they say that uh, grandkids are the payment you get for not killing your kids or something like that. You ordered on the 10th and they're here today and you're in Wisconsin, right? Yeah, it's amazing how fast um, April cuts them. And that's another thing, like these stencils come in various different sizes. I guess I take it for granted that people would know that. So sometimes I forget to say, but you can order them in multiple sizes. That's another thing that's really nice about the stencil smith. And if there's a size that you're wanting that you don't see, you can email April and she'll make it happen for you, which is another nice thing. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful company. They've been around for a long time. Husband and wife family company, everything's made in America. They cut their stencils right there. So they're definitely like never out of stock or anything like that. And April cuts them, like if you order today, I don't know that she'll be cutting them today because it's going to be 5 o'clock probably by the time I'm done, but um, they'll probably be cut and uh, mailed tomorrow. It's that quick. Now, I'm just going to leave this lightly black here because I'm going to go over with a little bit of color on these books, and I'm going to do another coat doesn't really matter, but I want to do another coat on the words. But I wanted to give the uh, the books a little pop of color. Yeah, canvas is pretty easy to stencil on because it doesn't move really. It's stiffer. The same with like burlap. That's not a bad fabric to stencil on at all. But boy, t-shirt material is a bugger. Oh, thank you, Pamela. West Wisconsin. Okay, so you're towards Minnesota then, correct, Becca? My son was in Waukesha for a while, and that was like towards, I know it was really close to Milwaukee. He was in Janesville for a while in Wisconsin, and then he was in Waukesha, but I found Wisconsin to be an absolutely beautiful state. Um... Where he was at didn't seem to have as much snow as we did, but boy, were you guys a lot colder than we were in the winter. Way colder. 
So that is one thing. Hi, Sharon. How are you? I'm glad you could join. So I'm just swirling this around here, getting these letters a little darker. So are any of you, because I know I did a thing the other day, it's, I think it's National Love to Read Month, which I did not know was a thing until my library posted it. And it was kind of funny because we had already planned to do this uh, tote bag as a stencil. Yes, Waukesha. Yep. Oh, hi, Carol. How are you? Nobody's ever late. We've always got replay if you miss something. <laughs> it was definitely meant to be. But so it's National Read, Love to Read Month. So if you love to read, who are your favorite authors? My very favorite, I think, is Harlan Coben. He's a mystery writer, and he has this one series... Um, with these characters called Myron, Bolitar, and Wynn. And he's he's like one of my, because he, he is a mystery writer, but he's got a really, really good sense of humor. I like anything with a sense of humor. So it's a mystery kind of with a sense of humor. I love Karen Slaughter. Um, I like all mystery. I read so much now, sometimes I don't even remember the names of the books Plus, there's so many new authors. Oh, I bet that's really pretty. Thank you, Gerilyn. You did a light. I'd love to see your t-shirt, Mary Jo. And that's another thing, too. If you haven't joined, I have a um, page called Chardon Sign Shack Show and Tell. It's a group page. And I would love for you to share your creations, your stenciling, your painting on that. I love to see what everybody's doing. It's a lot of fun. Plus, it's fun to get ideas from different people, you know, of how they've used the stencils. Okay, so I'm going to leave, I believe, the words just like that. And then these I want to add a little bit of color to. So I was going to use, I've got some new colors from Fusion Mineral. So I think I'm gonna use those. They're like a reds and a green. So this red is called Winchester. It's really pretty. So I think I'm gonna do like three of the books in red, three in blue, and three in green. I was gonna alternate them, but I'm just gonna simply do this. I got that this flashing Let's see if I can find my other, I got a whole bunch of it, here it is. This flashing is real easy, you can get it on Amazon too. Instead of using tape, you can just quickly lay it down on an area you wanna block off. So I'm getting some of the paint in my brush, up in my bristles, and I'm gonna offload. And I'm just gonna go over that black just a little bit with this color. And here I am dirtying three more brushes just for a little bit of color. But I thought it would be pretty. And sometimes I like to do the black underneath or a white underneath and shade with whatever color over top of it. And it kind of gives it like a variegated look. So this one there's three more books there. I think I'm going to do those in this new blue. Try not to get paint. Got to be so careful with fabric. I'm messy to begin with. So I'm done with that one. So this one is called Willow Bank. And again, I know I said it at the beginning, any water-based acrylic paint will work. Whatever you have, you use. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy... Uh, Heirloom. Ooh, elderberry. That sounds pretty. Is that a fusion color or an heirloom color? I bet that's real pretty. 
No, Carol, there's nothing you really have to do. I should have, I like to, anything that's material, ooh, that's a lot of blue. I do like to wash it beforehand so it doesn't shrink. You know, so if it's gonna shrink, it's shrunk. And then I like to iron it. I did not do either of those because I forgot and by the time I remembered, it was too late. I would definitely do that with like your tea towels, you know, those flower sack towels that I did a couple weeks ago. So I'm gonna do some of this blue here. And just get that in there. And this is the first time using these colors. I haven't used them at all. But no, there's nothing. And canvas is pretty easy to stencil on, like I said, because it's um, it's stiff. T-shirt is really, I found out today, like I said, it's the first T-shirt I ever did. I'd always wanted to. Matter of fact, coming up on a live, I'd like to try doing the bleaching a T-shirt and the stenciling on it. But I got to get a little more confident in my T-shirt uh, stenciling. Um, I got to stencil a couple more. Oh, that would be so pretty. That, that's a great idea, April. So April said you could also take like a gold metallic and where these bridges are, like these lines, you could take it and you could line it with gold. You know how books have the gold in them? That's an excellent idea. I'm gonna do that with this. So I am getting that green. This is, uh, this green is, I've never used this for either pressed fern. So like I said, these are all new colors to me. And I thought I would just give them a whirl. Just give a little pop of color to it. And I'll show you where she said, I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna run in and dig through my paints for my, although I might have a gold out here. Let me look real quick. Um, yeah, I don't. I got a lot of paint. I, I don't have a gold, but I'm gonna show you. Oops, look how cute that is. I like that a lot. What do you think? And then I would close all the bridges on it, me personally. But right here, that is a wonderful idea. You know, I could take the black and I could go and line it. But April recommended you could take gold. You know how books have that gold in it? And those little white lines fill it up with gold and that would look really pretty too. So there you have it. Didn't take very long. Of course, I didn't close the bridges, but like I said, I will. I usually do that after I turn off the camera. I finish doing that. My husband's like, come on, feed me. So this one is one size. And see how wrinkly it is? I should have ironed it beforehand. And then this is the other side. My books. My book is calling and I must go. And like I said, this would make a wonderful, wonderful gift for a teacher, for a book lover. It would be really cute. Say your grandkids or your kids love to read. Make them a little tote. Put some books in it for their birthday, Christmas, something like that. Um, this is another one I did. I love this one. This is probably my all-time favorite stencil. I did this. I love this vintage soul stencil. This is a new one. Look how pretty this is. Oh, a book club. Yeah, book club gifts. That would be great. So my stencils are medium. You want to put books in it. Yeah, in your book club. That would be great. Well, I must have missed. You use an iron? Yes, to heat set it. I heat set mine in the dryer, but Rhonda does hers um, with an iron and parchment paper. But I love this one. Like, this is me. I like to wear, like, I don't know. My husband says they're like hippy-dippy clothes, kind of. Um, not that I'm a hippie, but <laughs> I just like patterns and stuff like that. But I think this one is so pretty. So there's lots of different things that you could put on totes. I pulled some of my other stencils to show you a couple that I just had that I would consider putting on 
a tote. So I had my vintage sole one, and I've got that one in two different sizes. Oh. So I've got a little one, and I think it comes in another size. I'm probably gonna get the other size. I mean, I absolutely love this one. I think this is pretty. Um, you could color this in yellow if you wanted. It would be just beautiful. Um, and I've done that before. When I've done stuff like that, then I usually put the stencil back over it if I go into the lines and just kind of stencil over it again. Um, this would be really cute on a tote. It's got the little sunflowers, um, you know, in a world full of roses, be a sunflower. That would be beautiful on a tote as a gift. My favorite, of course, it's the font uh, too. <laughs> I'm placing orders all the time. My, my cart keeps growing and I'm almost ready to place the order and then uh, April releases a whole bunch of new ones. I think this would be really pretty too on a tote bag. Spread kindness like wildflowers and look how beautiful those wildflowers are. So those were just some that I had on hand. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to do these reading ones, although I think the reading ones would make absolutely beautiful gifts. Like I said, teachers. Um, and I think if you did craft shows, I think this would be... Um, these would be something that would sell for gifts, too, for people. Um, so I wanted to show you that. And again, I wanted to tell you, find my sheet here. So I want to show you a couple more things, if you want to stick around for a minute. Um, I'll tilt you up here for a minute. Okay, so the stencils that are on sale today, it's the same thing as always. They're 20% off. Um, they're number 3732 and number 8731. You can get any size you want. Any size is on sale, but they're the ones I use today are in medium. After the live, in the description above this video, you'll find links to both the, the, uh, both the stencils. You'll have, find links to the new release, book releases she has. And then you'll also find a link to the tote I used. And if there's anything you can't find, um, email me or message me. Usually if you message me on Facebook, I get it quicker just because it pops up on my watch and I see it come through. Um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with any way that I can help you because I want everything you do to be an, a success. Tomorrow we're going to have that drawing about seven o'clock. So if you have sprinkled me out, these are going to be the two that are going to be drawn but there's only gonna be one winner, so you're gonna get both of those. Like I said, I think they would be great, not just for uh, Valentine's Day, but it is Valentine's Day. And I wanted to show you a couple of the, uh, so these are, I did the reels the other day. I love this. I love the font and everything. This was, um, I think it's pronounced Slanche. I don't know, I have to go to Google and do it every time, but it means health in Gaelic, and it's what they use for like cheers um, in, uh, in Ireland. That's how they say cheers. Like, I guess we'd go cheers, they'd say that. But I really like that. And a couple of the stencils, I, oh, I had one more I wanted to show you. I just like to show all my stencils off. I could do this all day long. <laughs> Um, okay, so these are some of the, because I know like crafting, you have to be ahead of the season, but if you want, you know, if you're wanting to make a gift or something for St. Patrick's Day, this was one of the stencils. This one cracks me up. In dog beers, I've only had one. This one just absolutely cracks me up. That's the shirt I made. This was the little sheet I used with the, uh, Celtic clover, and I guess this is like um, Celtic knots. And it has a lot of other cute things on it, but I love the borders. And then I'm gonna make this on the flip side of my home sweet home. I love this. May your home be too small to hold all your friends. I think that's just absolutely beautiful. And you could also use this thing for another round and you wouldn't have to do clovers, you know. 
And then everybody has been emailing me and messaging me, asking me if I have a wood grain stencil. Well, the Stencil Smith has one. So if you're looking for a wood grain stencil, this is number, this is not on sale, but you can always get 15% with my code off. So this is number 83, no, 8673, and this is a small. But I know a lot of people have been looking for a wood grain stencil. This is it, the Stencil Smith has one, and it's in stock, and they can cut it and get, to you, get it to you in a couple days. So um, we will see you next week. I hope everybody has a beautiful Valentine's Day, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.